Major changes happening in Saudi Arabia. What are the objectives and their impacts? Saudi Arabia has recently banned the Tabliki and Dawa group known as Al Ahbab. The defense minister and the son of the king of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, back in 2016 came with Vision 2030. This previously conservative Islamic state has seen drastic changes since then. What exactly is this Vision 2030? Apparently, the Saudi government has directed its efforts in making this oil-rich country somewhat less dependent on its oil reserves and oil trade. And the current government is doing that by giving a welcoming gesture to the international community around the globe. So, basically, Saudi Arabia is on its way to modernization so that liberal and secular states like France, the United Kingdom and whole of the West actually invest in their relations with Saudi Arabia. In light of this vision, we have witnessed a series of Western, liberal, modern events being conducted in the country. Women now are allowed to drive. Concerts by the Bollywood stars Salman Khan and Shilpa Shetty took place quite successfully with huge turnouts. Justin Bieber was there too a few months back, and these celebrities were personally invited by Mohammed bin Salman to come and help in the radical modernization of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia had to face strong condemnation from its fellow Muslim countries for its weak stance on the Gaza killings in Palestine. Saudi Arabia was, in fact, the first Muslim country to put normalization with Israel on the table. Not just that, in 2020, when the Muslims around the world were devastated on the killings and confiscation of the property of Muslims in Gaza, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu paid a secret visit to Saudi Arabia. The secretly cordial relations between the US, Israel and the Arab states have been happening for quite a while. But lately, they have come out in the open. This is how much important trade is for the seat of Islam, Saudi Arabia. Now, let's connect the two. One side of the picture shows the country's modernization that is mostly concerts, music and freedom to women. While the other side is the Saudi government giving up on the Muslim Brotherhood and basic human rights for its trade and economy. King Salman has been in an open fight with Israeli troops for a long time, but this new face of the Saudi government has given all that up for Vision 2030. Muslims worldwide have more or less adopted a more liberal approach in their everyday lives. The dress code of women or women getting an education and driving licenses are no longer big issues in most Muslim countries. Music concerts are a casual happening too. But when it comes to Saudi Arabia, Muslims from all over the world kind of look forward to Saudi Arabia as a benchmark Islamic state. All these drastic changes were once unthinkable for us. If it goes on like that, people will get used to witnessing such events. But when it comes to stitching your mouths, bowing over to the Islamophobic state and remaining silent on their heinous crimes against Muslims, we can never get used to that. Saudi Arabia is getting its favorite friend of the West face after all, but the solidarity, unity and strength of the Muslims and Muslim countries is at stake. I would like to mention here that Saudi government did speak up after all, after the OIC meeting last year. This speaks for the spark of Muslim community and integrity. But we, the Muslims from all over the world, look forward to the strongest stance and the biggest unit of Muslim countries against the West. Governments like those from Turkey and Pakistan speak often and it gives us a ray of hope. We look forward to that unbreakable Muslim force that Quran has addressed us Muslims with.